This is a, uh, an extraordinary sight to see all of you gathered here today in Port St. Lucie. We're going to win Florida. We're going to take back the White House. Mitt Romney pumping up thousands of supporters in Tradition Square. Fresh off his debate against President Barack Obama and looking to keep momentum moving forward to a second this week, Mitt Romney wooed supporters today. The Channel 5's Michael Williams, anchor of the largest news team on the Treasure Coast, beginning our team coverage from Port St. Lucie. Good evening, Michael. Good evening. Live from Tradition Square, thousands of Romney supporters now headed home after a visit with the GOP nominee this afternoon, clearing skies at this hour after a rainy day. And the Romney campaign hopes that might be a metaphor for a suddenly re-energized campaign. The next president of the United States, Mitt Romney. Mitt Romney and his wife Ann bounded on stage under dark skies, but bright campaign spirits. We had a little debate earlier this week, and I enjoyed myself. Yeah. Widely deemed by polls and pundits as the winner this of the first a, presidential uh, debate, Romney repeated arguments he had made face-to-face -face with President Obama. Why it was that with 23 million Americans out of work or struggling to find a good job, he spent his first two years fighting for Obamacare. Democrats say Romney's promises don't add up when it comes to jobs, cutting taxes, and balancing the budget all at the same time. No specifics here either, but a campaign pledge. I will not raise taxes on middle class families. More fights over Medicare, too. That under Obamacare, under his plan, he is cutting $716 billion from Medicare. Not so, argue Democrats, saying cuts rein in insurance companies and other providers, not Medicare recipients. America's greatest days are not in the past. It may be a little cloudy today, but the sunshine is coming through, guys, for this country. A political forecast where the only guarantee is more stormy debates to come.